Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right. So this is video number three of today. I told myself I'm going to do my last video for tomorrow. So we're only doing three videos today. But all three of them are concerning Crown Jewel. Because I think out of all the matches that they'll probably have, these three are probably the most important. And in this one, we're going to talk about the very first match that was made on Crown Jewel. I've been wanting to make this video for like two weeks now. Because it's been announced for the last two weeks of this match. So I've been kind of lazy. I ain't going to hold you, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> so we got Drew McIntyre challenging Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. Okay. I say this match is important for many reasons. Because two things could go down. Drew McIntyre turns heel 100% in the mat during the match and he also becomes the world heavyweight champion. Cuz it makes sense to me, right? Like Drew McIntyre being the Seth Rollins next challenger, I'm a, I was 100% for it. Like I I you couldn't find another you couldn't find a better person, especially with somebody who's kind of teetering towards a heel turn as it is. Fucking Drew McIntyre, you know what I'm saying? And based on, you know, everything that's been saying and everything he's been going through, I I wouldn't be mad if Drew wins. Because Drew still blames the bloodline for what's happened. You know what I'm saying? He still blames the bloodline for him not winning last year, Clash at the Castle. He still blames him. He still blames he still blames them for that. And he and he was also saying, why does everybody feel sorry for Jay Uso, but nobody felt sorry for Drew McIntyre? Like, you can see his heel turn gonna happen. But now with Riddle being fired, this is going a whole different route. This is going a whole different route than what it was supposed to. Because I'm sure Drew would have turned heel. He'd probably be heel by now. And would have did it on Riddle. And then we probably would have had a Drew. We'd probably be having a Drew McIntyre, Matt Riddle um, feud right now. But he's gone. So they said to themselves, hey, let Drew McIntyre be a nice contender. Which I wouldn't be. Which again, I wasn't against. I, I was all for it. Him becoming the World Heavyweight Champion... And something I'm not against either. I'm not against that. I'm not. Because. Let's think about this. They're playing this narrative. Because Michael Cole keeps saying it on Raw every time. They're playing this narrative. Of. How long. How longer. Can Seth Rollins. Keep going at this. At this pace. Right, that's that's literally. I feel like I hear that question every single time I see Seth Rollins on Raw. Like I feel like that's the question that commentary keeps putting, keep, keeps hitting us with. Right? Oh, how long can Seth Rollins become World Heavyweight Champion? Because he's battered, he's hurt. You know, Shinsuke Nakamura put him through the ringer. You know, Judgment Day kept beating his ass every week. You know, so is all that gonna catch up to Seth? Against a Drew McIntyre, who, let's be factual, <laughs> he, 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 I can see it happening. Like, I, I, I can see it happening. Drew also said, and this is another reason why I feel like Drew McIntyre will stay, will, will become heel at Crown Jewel. Because Drew McIntyre said, he's not going to attack Seth Rollins from behind. He wants him at 100%. He wants Seth Rollins at 100%. Which means Drew McIntyre will probably be, for the next two weeks, 
Drew McIntyre will probably be Seth Rollins' guardian angel. Have his back. Make sure Seth Rollins doesn't get jumped. Make sure Seth Rollins doesn't suffer any type of injury, whatever the case is. And actually, it's funny. I think Seth Rollins, I think, uh, I think Drew McIntyre and Sami Zayn are going one-on-one -on -one tomorrow night, right? I just thought about that. Um, and, you know, he'll probably hold, he'll probably have his back for two weeks. Then when the match comes around, we'll probably get a ref bump, which I'm assuming. <laughs> We're going to have a ref bump. Maybe Drew McIntyre exposes the turnbuckle. Maybe he gives a low blow. Maybe, maybe he po puts a thumb in Seth's, something dirty, right? Then a Claymore. One, two, three. We got a new World Weight Champion. So that's my two things right there. I think I think Drew McIntyre becomes healed during the match. He has to I think he he pulls out all the stops and does what he has to do to win. And then he becomes a World Weight Champion. I think Seth Rollins' reign ends at Crown Jewel. I think it does. Because well, you know what? I feel like it ends there, but I don't know if it does. Because let's be let me wrap let me let me wrap your brain around something, right? Well, two things. There's two things I want to wrap your brain around, but this one thing, right? I have Gunther winning the Royal Rumble. I don't got Cody Rhodes winning. It would make no motherfucking sense. <laughs> but I got, I got, I got Gunther winning the Royal Rumble, right? I got him going to WrestleMania to challenge for the World Heavyweight Title. I got him challenging, right? Now, a Seth Rollins versus Gunther match is a match I actually been asking for. I, I, I mean, I haven't been verbally saying it, but it's a match I've been wanting. Right? For Seth Rollins to lose to Gunther to become the World Weight Champion would not be a bad move at all. I, I actually be all, I, I'm 100% for it. That's why I feel like Drew McIntyre may not become World Weight Champion. Because if he does, I don't think Drew would lose that title like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like he's going to have the rain for a couple months. So if he does, so if if Seth Rollins wins, if Seth Rollins beats Drew McIntyre at Crown Jewel, he's holding that title until WrestleMania, where Gunther will take it from him. So I'm seeing it, right? So I'm seeing it because. <laughs> I don't think Drew McIntyre wins the World Weight Championship. Take that, takes takes it to WrestleMania, where he loses to Gunther again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gunther already beat him to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Then Gunther beats him to become World Weight. That, 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 that's that'd be too much on on his psyche. Plus, I think Gunther would probably have to turn face if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm as much as I was good with Drew. Winning, now that I'm thinking about it, it may not happen that way. So who knows what's going to happen. But I still think it's a very important match to show us what the future holds and what the future looks like going into WrestleMania. I know I'm thinking about WrestleMania a lot. Like a lot of these videos, like the, these three videos, there's a WrestleMania focus. But I think Crown Jewel is a very important show where you kind of can see the glimpse of the future. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, uh, we'll see how it goes. But the second point I was going to make is I actually just made it too. My second point was, if Drew McIntyre couldn't beat Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship, why do I believe Drew McIntyre can, can beat Seth to become the world heavyweight champion? <laughs> so, the Intercontinental Championship, which is supposed to be less value than the world heavyweight championship, but sadly enough, both titles are pretty much even at this point. Like in this day and age, the Intercontinental Championship and the World Weight Championship are damn near, damn near on the same level 
at this point in time. But if you couldn't beat Gunther, how, why would you beat Seth? You know what I'm saying? Like, Seth is supposed to be the man on Raw. You mean to tell me you couldn't beat Gunther, but you can beat Seth? Like, that that doesn't add up to me. If you couldn't win the Intercontinental Championship, how the hell am I supposed to believe you're going to win the world title? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, again, I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to see. But it's going to be interesting once that match happens and once everything goes down. We'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe, I don't know. Cause now, now I'm thinking maybe Damian Priest cash. I don't know when Damian Priest is cashing in anymore. I don't know. Cause he's had this briefcase since Money in the Bank. He's made a couple, couple, you know, flinches to to cash in, but it hasn't happened. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's up. I guess we'll see when the time comes, but I don't know. Cause there is that money in the bank in the rear view. I don't know what's going to happen, bro. I don't know. But listen, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But until then, it's been Rose Man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love support. As always, I got three more videos I got to do tomorrow. Both um, the NBA previews for both the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. And of course, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to talk about the announcement we got from Sting on Dynamite. So yeah, you already know what it is, man. So until next time, peace, love, 100. You heard?